Hey guys, today we will be making sulfuric acid from hydrogen peroxide and sulfur. We got the sulfur in a previous video, so if you want to go check that out, um, you can see that. And then this hydrogen peroxide you can buy at uh, most pharmacies and stuff. Uh, this is 29% food grade. Some people actually eat this and apparently it kills bad bugs in your gut or something. I don't know. Anyhow, we're not going to be using it for that, but uh, that's 29%. Um, anything around that percentage should work fine. Um, then we're also going to need to build this apparatus. Uh, so this is pretty simple. I just have two canning jars. Um, and then there's two holes in each of the lids where t tubing goes in. This one must go to the bottom. This is where we'll put the hydrogen peroxide and uh, then an output tube and then a tube that branches over into here. Neither of these need to go down that deep. And um, this is where we're going to stick our tin of sulfur in here, burn it, and then of course we're going to need something like a fish tank bubbler or something. This is a small compressor which uh, gives out a steady flow of air. <clears throat> so anyhow, um, it's going to be blowing into here, pushing out the sulfur dioxide and uh, supplying the sulfur with oxygen to burn into sulfur dioxide. That will travel over here, bubble through the hydrogen peroxide, turn it into sulfuric acid, and then the other air comes out of there. Um, so anyhow, we're going to fill this up. Stick our sulfur in there, go outside, and uh, see if it works. Okay, so now let's fill up this jar with uh, some hydrogen peroxide. We'll just put some in, and um, then we'll screw on the top here. And then uh, we'll light this off here, um, and hopefully we should get the sulfur starting to burn. Sulfur is not easy to ignite, so here I'll be back when I do ignite, it'll be too tricky. So there we go, now you can see the reactions working, we got the sulfur burning over there and bubbling through. So we'll leave this until the sulfur's done burning and then come back. Okay, so about an hour 15 minutes later, um, that 50 uh, grams of um, uh, sulfur that we used is uh, totally burnt, and um, we have our acid here. Now this is uh, going to be pretty weak, um, but if we take a bit of um, uh, baking soda, as you can see there, and we place them on, we'll see if it, we actually have acid to see if it fizzes. So we'll just use a pipette, stick some on, oh, and yep, you can definitely see it fizzes. Um, so there's definitely nit or, um, sulfuric acid in there. Um, so to finish off the process of concentrating it more, probably to about 70%, we're just going to stick it on a burner and heat it up and uh, let it steam off until um, yeah, white fumes are produced. When white fumes are produced, this means that the acid reached about 70% concentration and it's done and you cannot concentrate it anymore. Um, so I'll show you that when that is done. So, you will know your sulfuric acid is done concentrating when either A, it stops boiling and no more um, gas is released. Or uh, B, if your burner is hot enough, then um, white dense fumes will be released. This is sulfuric acid vapor. Um, but since my burner does not go that hot, um, there are no fumes, um, so it will just stop. Um, the concentration is about 70% at this point. And um, yeah, so uh, there's your sulfuric acid. We'll probably be doing some other videos in the future with it. Um, and hopefully you had fun. Okay, thanks. Bye.